Hello, I'm Heidi and I'm just back from South Africa and experience in spiral dynamics. And yesterday I was asked what is different in spiral, as spiral dynamics is understood in, in Africa and what exactly is it? Because I mentioned that I have learned something new about spiral dynamics. And so I thought instead of writing, I do a quick video about that. I definitely had the impression that my understanding of spiral dynamics as I had it before, especially also uh, by help of the Ken Wilber model was sort of the developmental thing. You are at base, you are at uh, purple, you are at red. And all these stages, one is sort of higher or better mm -hmm, than the other. And I noticed that we very much have this impression that with this climbing up the ladder means also better. And Rika Bejorn, in our organizer of the tour and our lovely teacher of spiral dynamics, she really succeeded to make us understand that that's not the case. That we are all the time full of all the elements of this Bible. You can say in one moment, I'm beige or you are beige. And half hour later, you can be green. And half hour later, or even three minutes later, you can be purple. So, Maybe it's not the beingness, but the expressiveness of what you are doing and what you can co contribute to a certain level of the spiral dynamics. I, I even hesitate to say a level of development because also development has intrinsically in itself this idea that something goes ahead and ahead it definitely has the idea to go to better. Otherwise, we would say it goes back, no? and back is somehow co uh, connected with being worse. So, Rika has shown us uh, the levels of development in South Africa. In the lived experience, uh, she showed us the places, she showed us the people who are expressing a certain let's say, color of the spiral. I, I even don't want to say level anymore. That's so weird. You know, I was so comfortable in saying levels of development before, and now I'm not anymore. So the, the very impressive thing to us, she presented us to Dr. Lorraine Laubscher. She was also part of the conference, but in the conference I didn't listen to her contribution because there was something else I had to attend to. And she started her PhD with 83 years and she's now, I think, 87 or 88. And soon it will come out as a book. And she was collaborating with Don Beck a long time ago when there was the apartheid falling apart. And um, she was local. And she understood the mentality of the people, of the local people. And she sort of translated it to Don Beck, as uh, Rika said, because he was too much in his um, theoretical thing. And he didn't really have an embodied understanding of where the people are coming from. And as I understood, yes, people are coming from a certain place, but it's not, it's not a place of, let's say, inferiority as we understand it, when they are in purple. Uh, Lorraine, I, we met her also and we could talk to her. I also did some uh, recordings, but at the moment I'm not uh, able to post that. She lives this... Uh, the theory, let's say. She, she, she can speak about it 
in so different way than we are used to it. Also Rika, you know, when she is talking about spiral dynamics, about the spiral, she says the spiral, but she, I don't think she ever says levels of development, and it doesn't actually fit. Uh, she really expressed it in her being, in her way of, of being, in her way of saying. It was so different than we are used normally. And it really, to me, it came over so clearly as a felt understanding of what it is, not a theoretical thing up here. And there is, you know, the theory is there. That's not that it's no, no theory and it's just uh, talking, talking, talking about something which is not, how do you say, graspable. No, that's not it. But it's a completely different way of of, of talking about these things. Sorry for the interruption. My ill cat wanted to escape, so I had to catch him. Um, trying to find the discourse again. Oh, I, I start in talking, uh, in reading the description of Dr. Lorraine Laubsche. Uh, I think it might be symptomatic about the, what it is still written in a sort of, you know, traditional language, how you write uh, your information. So Dr. Lorraine Laubsche was granted her PhD in 2013 at the age of 83. She has spent a lifetime applying, explaining, teaching, and researching the thinking that produced the thesis called Human Nature's Spiral Dynamics for Africa. Over the years, she has explored and described the core intelligences and deep thinking systems that flow beneath our belief systems. Dr. Laubsche specializes in integrating first and third world cultures in the global workplace. She is recognized as a pioneer in South Africa, connecting with the natural intelligences of indigenous people and in accessing those intelligences in the design of living environment, government systems, governance systems, and negotiation strategies. For years, she worked in the mines, in gold mines, platinum mines, and coal mines, in township communities, and in production-oriented industries. Some of the papers that Lorraine presented are an indication of her interest in change leadership. She continues to pursue this interest as evidenced by her contribution to a number of books that Professor Rika Viljoen is writing on inclusivity and integral thinking. Dr. Laubsche presented at numerous international conferences, coached various industry leaders and politicians, and continues to lecture and conduct workshops to facilitate and develop an in-depth understanding of spiral dynamics theory on diversity management. Currently, she is in the process of developing a unique assessment to describe African spirituality in the workplace. These are nice words, and seeing this old lady, it's really heartwarming, and seeing what, what she did for that country and for the understanding which is going on. So I hope for the moment I have given you a little bit of an impression that Spiral dynamics can be seen and understood differently. There's still the levels or the colors, but it, they seem to have a different value. They are not dismissed or considered one more valuable than the other, but it's seen the beauty in all of the levels and trying to get them together and trying to, to unite, find the commonality, finite, unite the people who are expressing one or the other level by a common understanding. That's what I understood and I hope it helps you. Thank you.